I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I've seen some amazing art that's made by just breaking glass. However, it's unfortunately not as easy as that. First of all, since we're breaking glass, if you make any type of mistake, there's no undo, which could mean starting all over if you make the wrong move. Second, you can only do this art using a specialty glass that's really expensive. It's called laminated safety glass and each of these panes cost me around $75. And lastly, the image you create is monochromatic. Because the broken areas will show up as white, it's sort of like drawing the highlights on a dark canvas rather than the other way around. It's a lot less intuitive and something I have much less experience doing. But despite these challenges, I'm going to attempt to make three art pieces in increasing difficulty and complexity. I also only have a couple spare panes of glass, so I can't afford many mistakes. Oh boy. Let's get started. My first piece has to be something simple, and I thought of something that could be really cool. I know it's gonna be abstract, but I wanna try to make a YouTube play button to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. We're still a little ways off from that milestone, but I thought it would be a fun way to celebrate when we get there. I had no idea what this last year would look like, but for the first few months, I had under 25 subscribers, and I didn't really know if things would ever really take off. Hopefully I can keep making videos like this and have it grow into a long-term career, but I just wanna say thank you for being part of my journey. Anyway, let's make this. This thing was crazy hard to break, and I had to hit it about 10 times before it finally shattered. I had tried to do some small scale testing and a lot of research leading up to this moment, but ultimately it was just a lot of trial and error throughout this whole project. Also, don't try this at home unless you have this glass and the proper safety gear. Normal glass would just shatter into a bunch of pieces and fly everywhere. Also, glass is just messy to work with. You have to dispose of the broken glass properly, and I was constantly trying to not get cut or bring the tiny broken pieces of glass into my house. Anyway, after a bunch of breaking, I was finally done, and here is how it turned out. So like I predicted, it was pretty abstract, but I do like the overall look and feel to it. I've learned a few techniques that will hopefully translate into the next piece, but we'll see. For this next image, we're gonna make things a bit more complicated. I thought it would be cool to make an image of Spider-Man after my last video. So I found this image from the movie and practiced making an outline and a sketch just like I would be on the glass. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. For all of these art pieces, I'll be making a sketch on the glass first to know where the highlight should go. So it's time to start art piece number two. Well, this one didn't turn out exactly how I imagined, but why don't I just show you? I 
I think it's still interesting, but I don't think the image was the best composition for glass breaking. There were a lot of smaller lines, and I felt like I also couldn't get the sharper edges that I needed throughout it. So it's making me a bit nervous about jumping into this last idea. For this last challenge, I'm gonna attempt to make a portrait of a face. My face. This wasn't really my first choice, but no one else volunteered for good reason. I have no experience drawing faces, so there's a good chance this might not turn out. I'm gonna try my best, but we'll just see what happens. I watched a few videos on how to get proper face proportions and I've been trying to practice, but since I only have a couple shots at this, I'll probably rely on a few different techniques to get a decent sketch on the glass before I actually start breaking. This glass has been so much harder to work with than expected, but I just have to try to make it work. It's not like this whole video is banking on this doing well, so. Let's do this. Nope, I messed up the eyes. They're basically erased and there's nothing I can do to save it. I am starting over. So I messed up again, with these eyes. I don't know. My garage has been so hot here in Arizona. I'm probably rushing near the end of each day due to the heat, which probably doesn't help. Ultimately, this is my last pane of glass. I had to buy these in a larger order, so I simply can't afford to spend another $400 on more. It felt like so much was at stake, and I honestly started to feel a little sick to my stomach from the pressure. But I took a deep breath and decided that no matter what, I'm just gonna show you all three portraits, flaws and all. Maybe that was the lesson all along. Instead of looking for a way to hit undo, we should accept that we're going to have flaws. Because those flaws are also what make us unique. This was such a unique project to work on, and if you enjoyed it, I'd love your help getting to 10,000 subscribers. After weeks of planning and several more making a total mess of my garage, it was finally done. <laughs>